quick little informal video review of the Mego Pad T01. Uh, let me show you to you real fast. Here is the uh, HDMI connector. Then we have a full size USB 2.0 port, a micro USB power adapter, a little port for a fan or air vent or something, and then the power button. Then on the other side we had a another air vent, a micro USB for data, and a micro SD card slot. Um, let me just give you a size comparison right here. Here's a Kindle Fire TV stick and an iPhone 5. So you can see it's pretty small. It fits right into the side uh, HDMI port or whatever pretty well. Um, the main reason I really bought this thing was uh, $120 after shipping from China. The main thing, the main reason I really bought it was to use as a replacement for my uh, Mini ITX small phone form factor home theater PC. But it really hasn't lived up to the expectations on that for me. Um, explain why a little bit later in the video tutorial or I mean review but it's really why I bought it um, it has a quad core Intel Bay Trail processor in it um, which and, and 2 gigs of RAM uh, quad core kind of impressed me a little bit um that was one of the reasons why I bought it. Um, some of the things, so I bought it, and then it hasn't really lived up to its expectations, really. And part of the reason for that is the GPU, I guess, and it is just really bad. It won't play. Uh, Windows Media Center live streams very well. Uh, and that, that really disappointed me. Uh, another thing I didn't know about before I bought it was that there is no uh, 5 gigahertz Wi Fi on this. Um, I would have really loved to use Wi Fi with it, but that didn't really happen because I only had to use the 2.4 gigahertz. I really couldn't take advantage of the faster speeds that the 5 uh, provides. So that really disappointed me. And right about now, I think I'll get up, take it, and plug it into my TV so you guys can actually see a real demo of it in action. All right, so it's booting up. Here it is right here. Um, the boot speed is pretty quick, actually. It has a, uh, I don't know, some sort of flash storage on it, which is pretty nice. Um, that one full-size USB port that I showed you, um, had that connected to a powered hub, which then goes to a... Uh, USB to Ethernet adapter so I can get wired Ethernet on here because like I said the Wi-Fi is just horrible and then I also connected to that hub I have a uh, media center remote so as you can see here it boots up right into uh, Windows Media Center which is the main reason why I bought it um, I have my remote right here. So, as you can see, I have uh, 
Cody integration right there, which is nice, which is what I really use to play on my local media and stuff like that. So, um, I'm going to get a live TV right here, and you guys can really see what I intended this to be used for, and it's really just disappointed me. So, I just have a uh, over-the-air antenna ho hooked up to a uh, HD Home Run Dual, I think. They, I think they renamed it to Connect, but HD Home Run, which is an awesome uh, network TV tuner. I've been really looking at that if you're even considering it. Anyway, so I have the uh, the guide up here. So it's kind of sluggish, actually. You can see I just I'm clicking the buttons on the remote, and it's just. Even that is just sluggish. So I just clicked on NHL Hockey, and this actually is pretty high frame rate, so you'll probably see it lag and stutter, unfortunately. Um, some shows that aren't sports, or I guess this right now isn't really, won't really show too much of the lagging, but. If you left it on for a couple more minutes, uh, I'm sure it would. So I don't really want to play that for too long or I'll get knocked by uh, YouTube copyright violation or something like that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you can just see how slowly it changes the channel. Like, I have a, uh, what this was meant to replace was a, uh, uh, Mini ITX Sandy Bridge i3 with the integrated, uh, HD 3000 graphics. And that's even much, actually much faster than this. So, yeah, there you, you just saw it kind of like lag. I mean, it, it's really, I mean, you wouldn't want to watch TV like this. It's really pretty unwatchable. So, that stinks. But, so that's the live TV. If I go to Cody up here, I'll play some of my local media real quick. And it's actually better. Oh, so, by the way, for uh, what software I have installed on this is uh, Windows 8.1 Pro with Media Center. Um, it took up, after the install, it only took up 15 gigs. And I'm, by the way, this hard drive on this thing is only 32 gigs, so... I'm happy that I have more than half of it free for really the uh, only reason I'd use it was record shows on Windows Media Center. So I'll just demo playing some of my local media and go to video, uh, movies, and I'll just play something real quickly so I don't get knocked by. YouTube copyright violations. Um, 22 Jump Street shirts at the top of the list. So, this little should play pretty quickly. And it seems like it is. And playback on this is pretty nice, but I also have a Fire TV, which boots into XBMC or Cody much faster than this so really the reason why I bought this was to watch live TV but um another downside I haven't really talked about yet is this was shipped and I, I knew this but it was shipped with like a illegal pirated version of Windows 8.1 
they said it was a 30 day trial, but you really, you had to register it and everything. So it was illegal. And it also, this is like a Chinese product. So it shipped with all that bloatware that you normally get with the windows installed. But it, it was like in the wrong language. So I couldn't even really, if I, chose to activate it that way out of the 30 day trial I still have like a Chinese version of Windows so I mean I kind of knew it beforehand but the first thing I really did was install or reinstall a fresh copy of Windows 8 um, one of the knocks on I mean the the big gotcha for that for me was the, uh, you have to hold the F7 key as you boot it up to get into the BIOS because you saw how quickly this thing booted up you could easily miss something like that so hold F7 as it boots go into the BIOS reinstall Windows really the first thing if you choose to buy this thing which I wouldn't recommend but if you do choose to do that first thing reinstall Windows so that's pretty much a demo.